Hello, welcome to a book review. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. I've read a lot of books in the last, you know, year, comparatively anyway to the year before, but I haven't really sat down and made a book review video. But this felt like the kind of book that I just really needed to make one about. The book is called You Asked for Perfect by Laura Silverman. Yeah. And I have no idea, I have no idea how this book ended up in my possession or my reading list. On my library app, I have like an option for a reading list and I don't usually save things to it. It's very rare that I do, but I have like five there maybe. And this one was on there and it was available and I thought, yeah, why not? It was a six hour book. I was like, that's a very easy one. It was an audio book and it was really good, surprisingly. Now, what was really interesting about this book, first of all, is that the main character is Jewish and it feels a little bit like the Jewishness is kind of slapped in your face. And it's like, I am Jewish, pay attention. But then I kind of look at it and I'm thinking, is it that way? Or does it just feel that way because it's Jewish? For example, in sort of more common books, you would see people going to church or, you know, celebrating Christmas or whatever. Whereas in this book, he goes to synagogue and he celebrates the new year like the Jewish New Year. So it's interesting to me that reading it, I feel like it's very Jewish, but actually it's probably just a Jewish character, you know? But I did find that really interesting and I thought it was something to talk about, not just how it felt, but also why it felt that way. I think the book covers a lot of important things, sort of taking away, we're talking about a completely different thing now. Like its main focus is about the pressures of school and I like that about it. I like how realistic it is about it. It is a somewhat frustrating book at times because you just want the main character to do something else. You're like, no, <laughs> but I did enjoy it. Now it's very much young adults. Like it's not, not something I would probably recommend to like actual adults. I did enjoy it. I had mixed feelings about the person who read it. I don't actually know who it was. I've definitely heard better audiobooks. To be fair, I've just come from Stephen Fry, so you know, that's gonna be tough to beat. But it was all right. Like, I didn't dislike it. There are some audiobooks that I literally stop after a minute because I'm like, no, I can't listen to this. To be fair, 90% of the time, that's if it's an Australian accent. That's just a personal thing I have. But I did like the book, and I definitely think it's good for sort of anyone maybe 10 to 18. I reckon that's probably kind of the right age range. I don't think you'd go younger than 10, really. Oh, you could, I suppose. I don't know. Although I'm now just remembering some of the things that were said in the book and maybe not. But I did enjoy it and I'm glad I read it and I'm stumped as to how it ended up on my reading list. But let me know if you've read it and what your thoughts are on it, any opinions, anything you'd like to share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!